this comes from uh, Kimo Bruins as well. And so this will just end up becoming its own segment, Kimo, because this is what you're requesting. So this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. It says, please make a video on the 20-year-old. It's actually not 20 years old. It's, it's like 10 plus years, but 20-year-old post on HeroScapers.com titled HeroScape 20-Year Anniversary Reissue. This would be gold. And I'm going to actually probably put that in, in the title screen of this segment. Um, how have expectations and opinions changed in the last 20 years? What are your thoughts? So what uh, what Kimo is referring to, and I'm going to bring this up, is um, something made, I think, just after uh, HeroScape was discontinued. And I think this year it was, uh, yeah, 2011. Um, and there is a link in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and it basically discusses um, predictions of HeroScape a 20 year anniversary back in 2011 and um, some of you guys if you, you guys want to point out some things we're just gonna have some fun with this um, but I do want to point out the one that interested me the most and it came from someone I think who got kicked out of HeroScapers but I don't hold that against them from oh, Devil's oh. Advocate um, it says HeroScape would be best reintroduced like a Peter Jackson movie and then release uh, the game to coincide well guess what my inspiration for Tales of Ahala, um, a, a good majority of it, um, came from the fact that um, uh, one of my inspirations for filmmaking was Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, specifically The Fellowship of the Ring. And um, so I did um, pull a lot of inspiration for that for Tales of Ahala. So you're welcome. Uh, that is, I'd say, about as close a prediction as you can get, um, considering the fact back in 2011, I wasn't even thinking of anything um, when it comes to uh, stop motion animation of HeroScape. Um, so you're welcome. Uh, prediction meant as close as possible. And voila, after releasing <laughs> TOV, HeroScape is coming back. Okay. Uh, so what, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Uh, uh, Josiah, if, if you want to um, take take a gander, uh, what, what 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 do you think is fun uh, from this? Uh, let's see here. I do like how they mentioned the pirate set. So in a way, that prediction yes. uh, I think, uh, has come true. And then reintroduced D and D. Uh, not really, but they did introduce Magic the Gathering. So yeah, mm -hmm. uh, kind of, kind of there. Stay the same Wizard of the Coast brand. And um, you know what? I think 2026. I think Flag Bearers and Tundra Combined Master Set could still happen. I think we're gonna get a Possibly. Flag Bearers 2.0, or maybe like Faction Bearers or something. Uh, I I still foresee that happening. And. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's probably the most accurate thing. Uh, I just it's just weird to kind of see the the opinions of kind Hindsight. of this the space, yeah. this this empty space between once the game ended and the game's coming back. You know, it's kind of just weird. It's like a weird time capsule. It is. It is. Uh, Jason, what what do you see on here that piques your interest? Hmm, that's a good question. I mean, it's a lot of people just talking about how they want the old stuff to come back, which. Kind of sounds familiar with the people are yeah. responding to Age of Annihilation yeah. right now. Yeah. The they didn't know 3D mentions. printing was a thing yet. Yeah. That's true. And there's a few mentions of like a new master set, but most people are like, we want Rise of the Valkyrie. And again. Then two years later, <laughs> we want Swarm of the Morrow again. But, um, I like this. There's one guy down here who's changing the rules a little bit. He's talking about something about including a charging rules. And he has a lot more details about how he wants to see the whole product line redone for whatever reason. Who's that? Is that Robotech? Someone did put a lot of thought into this. Robotech Master? Uh, Robotech that... Master, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I got it. Yeah, Robotech yeah, Master. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. A long, long yeah, it's, 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 it's a long explanation. But yeah, I mean, you got, if anybody wants to like, check this out, like I said, link in the description below if you want to check this this whole page out for sure. Uh, Blake, what, what, um, I know uh, like you just, you're, you're new on here, but do you see anything that stands out to you uh, on this that's fun? Um, I just think it's interesting the timeline, the fact that they mm -hmm. looked at it, you know, 12, 13 years ago, and they damn near got the timeline perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The year is twenty twenty three. Interesting. It's yeah. Like, yeah. It, um, crazy. But yeah, I, I think you know what what I love to see, and I, I don't. It was kind of mentioned just some some new terrain, some different terrain, or some mm -hmm. com combination of terrain. I, I really like Robotech's idea of like combining 
jungle and road that makes a ton of sense mm -hmm. um or tundra and lava just especially thinking about some of the maps we have um i i'd love to see some combinations that i think that was really interesting for sure and jeremy what stands out to you i'm just this cracks the part that cracks you up the most like, just like the in you ever, you ever just consider like passage of time and everything like 10 years ago in the past, they thought we were gonna have a hollow version of Heroescape. I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, where, where's where's that at again? Um, so it, it was like it's mentioned in the beginning, the and then okay. uh, uh, at the very end, Kolowski. So a or version. Kola, Kolakowski. I'm gonna say the name right because that name is actually really important for those that have been on the forums for a while. Kola, Kolakowski has made a lot of awesome posts, a lot of awesome mm. blog entries, just a lot of really cool stuff that I've seen uh, on their side of the Heroescape. Uh, experience so I always like reading their their posts hollow version and, you know, the, of the, the game yeah the the they were talking about the hollow version of the game um because there was gonna be there'd be a hollow version of the mo of a movie of the game and I'm just like man just you really win. thought the future we were gonna launch we we're gonna <laughs> we were gonna go up and to do all sorts of quit and I was like trust me no, we we are still actually using DVDs, by the way. Um, yes, we we got we just we went to Blu-ray, but but we were like a step up, just a little bit. But I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, online on, we have online skate, but that definitely isn't hollow, hollow version. Right. You know? No, I, I I just it's it's a really funny thought to me. Uh, but I mean, I think it's interesting that right now we we do have the plan of the game coming back. We don't exactly know how yet but that's right. what that's what march 1st is for uh but it'll be i can i can see some of these opportunities i i don't know about i mean we've talked about it with the reprints and stuff like that but yeah if they're not able i don't think they're gonna i don't think they have any plans to reintroduce dnd or anything like that or mm -hmm. but we do you know the pirate set definitely if they if they plan on using the AOA designs uh, we got we got pirates on the horizon, which for sure. that's the best part. That's uh, <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm super excited to get a pirate army going. So definitely definitely fulfill that that aesthetic for myself. Uh, let's see. I I like the uh, what was it the was it Rise of Valkyrie release alongside Marvel? Explain that the two games are compatible. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, it, it was going to take 10 years to do that. I was like, people have been playing Hulk with uh, for everybody. You know, everyone's been trying to draft the Hulk in an army for a while now. Uh, and his, it's it's a fun thought, right? Like, it, the game, it's not that they weren't ever supposed to be play, you, you can play them together. It's just not recommended because mm -hmm. it's like they're, the power levels are very vastly different between the two. But they even have, I still remember on the original website, uh, can't remember exactly who wrote it, but they were talking about, you know, hey, can you play Marvel with Heroescape? And and someone wrote out the rules on how to play Hulk versus an entire squad of Romans or something like that. Like, <laughs> but then it was an entire Roman army, and the Hulk still won. And it was just, it was a really funny article to read. I was like, wow, that must <laughs> that was in a funny game. It's the whole, literally just the Hulk plows through the entire Roman Legion by himself. Like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's a uh, it's a really interesting thread because I mean, mm -hmm. if you look at the date alone, but we're March fourth. So we're we're actually they're going to be doing the announcement March first. Yeah, that's very interesting. Right? That... So we're right. we're sitting about what is this about? Uh, I'm going to say about thirteen something years. Yeah. In the past. It's sophomore it's just in high school. Crazy. So, yeah. it's just ah. it's just nuts. Um, yeah, time time is time is interesting. <laughs> and and then Joe, just to uh, wrap this segment up, and anything else that stands out to you? Uh, wrap, wrap yeah. Did segment? anyone mention that in 2025 we're getting a, a World War Three Master? In oh please! Yes. Because <laughs> like I was gonna say, like it kind of like the some of the some of the most recent NGC units are very World War Three, like very mm -hmm. futuristic units. Mm -hmm. um probably not the world war three from like uh like a modern warfare three type of or black ops you know right. <laughs> you know but like sci-fi related you know world war three um you know that's kind of cool I, I i i'm sure you guys you know talked to you know mentioned this but it's just like that the whole timeline of it all <laughs> 
is so funny to me. <laughs> I, I just love that. Like, I just want to read that that third thing. It's like the year is 2023. Back in 2011, the like the year is 2023. We're in the future. You know, like the children who grew up playing HeroScape now control the media. HeroScape <laughs> nostalgia is at that peak. Yeah, uh, that's original funny. issue HeroScape miniatures and train are hot on the antique circuit, and the rights to a blockbuster hollow movie version of the game have been sold. Now you've been put in charge of bringing the bringing the, the game back to the masses. And it's just like, bro, you hit it on the spot. Like, that's it right here. It's happening. That's funny. I think I've made myself a bit of a mogul, you know. <laughs> I think that's so great. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I graduated high school in, in 2011, and... Um, crazy. Hey, you guys are you know, young, 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 youngins. 2011 grad, <laughs> let's youngins. go. Um, you know, so so looking at this, and I wasn't even playing Hero Escape then. Uh, you know, I, I, I feel like I missed out on this age but, that... There you go, that you know, prediction come true. Kids, you know, growing up. Yeah. You know, and now, you know, right. the next generation of, of hero escapers, basically. I just, like, now control the media. And you look at, like, you know, how YouTube is now and TikTok and... I mean, hey, you know, <laughs> we control the media for, for that small portion of the internet. So technically they're right. Technically, yeah. Like, technically we are. So thank you all those viewers out there. You know, you're helping yeah. us. Contri we're, we're contributing to the future. Yeah. Uh, thank you for helping us control we're, the media. We're, <laughs> we're, you're helping. You're helping fulfill this. Uh, we're making the frauds. In your prediction. So thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> I, I guess I'll let that be that. So that's that's been uh, taking a look at uh, this this that's segment cool. of that of that very um, interesting thread on HeroScapers.com. Again, thank you, uh, Kimo Bruns, for the suggestion. And by all means, anybody else have any suggestions for things in the future? Let 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 us know, and uh, we we are we are happy to tackle those things. <laughs>